Nothing beats burrowing into a good book. Whether you're cozy at home or surrounded by fellow commuters on a cram train, books can transport you far away with a few good words. In case you don't know where to start, here are some of the classics everyone on the planet should read in their lifetime. And all of these books are available on Amazon. 13 books you should read in your lifetime. Watership Down by Richard Adams Submerge yourself in this classic story, cooked up by a dad while driving his children around in 1966. The story was so captivating that ride by ride, his daughters became more invested in the fate of the two rabbits in the tale, called Fiverr and Hazel. His daughters begged him to write down the story, and so the book was born. Fiverr and Hazel encounter crows, a fox, evil rabbits, rivers, and many perils as they search for a better life in a new home on an epic journey. Watership Down was the author, Richard Adams, first novel, and he received many rejections before he found a small publisher called Rex Collings, who printed 2,500 copies for the first run. Since then, the book has sold more than 50 million copies, won countless awards, and has been adapted for screen three times. It remains a classic story that discusses the strengths and weaknesses of humanity through the experiences of rabbits and a must-read in anyone's lifetime. A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson Apart from making you seem like a genius at any dinner party, this book really is a marvel. In his accessible and plain-speaking way, Bill Bryson uses his wit usually reserved for travel writing to explain just about everything. From the start of the universe all the way to particle physics and quantum mechanics, he covers every topic under the sun. It is a book about knowing, but even more about understanding these concepts in layman's terms, and only Bill Bryson could have pulled it off. It is not as heavy as you might think. As ever witty, Bryson explains, there are three stages in scientific discovery. First, people deny that it is true. Then, they deny that it is important. Finally, they credit the wrong person. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank the chance finding of a teenager's diary would forever change the world. And this is that book. This isn't a novel, but a real autobiography penned in a 13-year-old girl's diary. This wasn't any girl. This was a young Jewish girl crammed into a tiny secret annex in the roof of a house in Amsterdam. The family's only way to survive is to live silently and go unnoticed. The diary was actually an autograph book given to Anne on her 13th birthday by Mip and Otto Gis. The Gisses are the couple that hid the Franks, the fun Pals and Fritz Pfeffer in their attic. After Anne exhausted all the writing space in the autograph book, she moved on to two more notebooks and then 360 loose pages, which made up the whole body of work. The house was eventually raided by soldiers, and Anne and everyone hidden in the annex was taken away. Mip Chris found Anne's diary and stored it. Otto Frank, Anne's father, managed to survive, and at the end of 1945, he returned to the Chis home and was given the diary. He knew it was Anne's dream to be published, and as tribute to his late daughter, he sent it to a publisher. That is how today we are able to read this beautiful, insightful, and sometimes awkward look into the life of a Jewish family trying to survive in their annex. It is one of the most touching memoirs you will read, and you shouldn't leave this world without experiencing it. The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. The Little Prince is one of the most read and most translated books in the world. And when you dive into a universal story and deeply profound message written in a crisp style, you will see why. The story is set in the Sahara Desert, where a pilot has crashed his plane. He is greeted by a young boy who claims to be from a different planet. The two have many conversations as the pilot repairs his plane. The Little Prince talks about his home planet and how he longs to return home. It is written as a children's story, but equally powerful as an adult read. It was in fact inspired by The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. The author, Saint Exupéry, was himself in a plane crash and confined to hospital while he healed. His friend read him The Little Mermaid, and he was motivated to write a fairy tale too. And aren't we glad that he did? The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak Another book set around 1945 is The Book Thief. It might seem so authentic that it reads like it was written at the time. However, it was penned in 2005 by Australian writer Marcus Zusak. The lead character, Liesel, is a young girl on a mission to rescue all the books being destroyed during that time. She hides them away in her family home, along with a fighter they are protecting in their basement. The young girl and her family's bravery and sacrifice are remarkable and a more relevant topic than ever in the modern 
world. What sets it apart is the narrator, Death himself, observing the family from above. The book was redrafted over 200 times by the author, and his approach paid off, as the book has since sold more than 8 million copies globally and is translated into 30 languages. It had a remarkable 230 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, so be sure to find out why for yourself soon. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte Forget Romeo and Juliet. That romance seems simple compared to the love affair between Kathy and Heathcliff in Wuthering Heights. The gothic romance is a no-holds-barred tale of complicated love affairs between unequal classes, the gypsy foundling Heathcliff and a well-heeled Catherine. Kathy surrenders to her fate and ends up with a moneyed Edgar Linton. But the ghosts of her past romance come to haunt the next generation of her family. A vengeful and betrayed Heathcliff makes a play at Kathy's innocent heirs and they are forced to revisit the legacy of unrequited love. It is a reaction to the romantic fiction of Jane Austen at the time, and Bronte's unique gothic romance is packed with darker undertones. It remains one of the most beautiful pieces of prose ever written. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll Firstly, Lewis Carroll was a pseudonym. The author of Alice's Adventures was Charles Ludwig Dodson. He drew inspiration for his character Alice from a real girl named Alice and her three siblings. It was almost called Alice's Adventures Underground, and rumor has it that he based the character of the dodo on himself. Carol struggled with a rare neurological issue that caused him to see things that weren't there or make objects appear larger or smaller than they really were. It wasn't until 1955 that this disorder was labeled, which could explain why Alice is able to grow and shrink in the story. The original manuscript is still in London and very rarely leaves the UK. The value placed on the script has never been divulged, and it's heavily guarded. The book has been translated into 176 languages and is a must-have for any bibliophile. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott Recently, Little Women has enjoyed its umpteenth film remake, but between the pages of the classic novel is a far more in-depth telling of the story of the March sisters. Louisa May Alcott brings together the characters that have the same type of global recognition as the cast of Winnie the Pooh. Ambitious author-to-be and tomboy Joe, romantic and spoiled Amy, frail Beth and beautiful Meg all remain devoted sisters through the challenges of civil war, love and death. Themes like family responsibility versus personal ambition and cultural clashes are all still relevant today, making Little Women a story that surpasses time immemorial. Kite Runner by Khalid Hassini The Kite Runner explores the relationship of fathers and sons, the love, sacrifice, and lies between them. It also delves into the societal tension created by caste systems and inequality in the Afghan monarchy and the world at large. A bond of friendship broken by the caste system begins a journey that sees wealthy Amir go in search of his friend to right the wrongs as war destroys the world around them. It is poignant and it is impossible to read it and stay the same. Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak This piece of art might be aimed at children, but no matter what stage of life you pick it up, the touching story will speak to you. Maurice Sendak both illustrated and wrote the picture book for children over 50 years ago. So, try to get your hands on a copy that contains the original illustrations. Recently, through print technology, a new release of the book was able to capture the artwork from the original illustrations in technicolor detail like never before. The author himself endorsed the republic Make sure you enjoy this read being wild and young and free with the wild things. Lord of the Flies by William Golding When a plane carrying a group of schoolboys crashes on a desert island, a new life dawns on the children, a life without authority and no adults to answer to. But without structure, the reality soon dawns and terror begins to reign. The novel, written in 1954, is one of the most important novels written for the young adult audience, but captures anyone who picks it up. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlo Ruiz Zafon This book might not sound as familiar to you as the other novels on this list, but it is actually one of the best-selling books of all time. The book is a story within a story of a boy, Daniel St. Pierre, who is on a mission to find all the works of author Julian. He soon becomes involved in tracing the entire history of Carax. There is mystery, espionage, and a suspicious Inspector Famiro. Perhaps a plot too complicated to get into here, but the millions of global readers who have kept it selling since 2001 can't all have got it wrong. So, pick up a copy soon. What is your absolute favorite book? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. 
1. Life of Pi by Jan Martel What do you get when you put a young boy, a hyena, an orangutan, a wounded zebra, and Richard Parker, a 450-pound Bengal tiger, together in a life raft for 227 days? One of the most memorable novels you will ever read. The book will get you to question the fundamentals of what it means to survive and the stories we tell ourselves to get through it all. Do yourself a favor and read the book before watching the movie. It will mean so much more. Thank <laughs> you.